Chelsea Clinton asked to sign Guest's book, gets horrific surprise inside after she opens it up, a news commentator from Rebel Media, Laura Loomer, went to an event in NYC where the daughter of the woman who isn't president was signing her book. Chelsea Clinton was there in the flesh, promoting her book titled She Persisted when Loomer approached her in the most savage way possible. She didn't hit Clinton with a brick, but it probably felt like a sack of bricks when Loomer asked this one question. Loomer stood in line with a handful of turd liberals and Democrats seeking the presence of a Clinton and Chelsea had no clue what was about to hit her. The video, by Rebel Media, is absolutely hilarious in the most nefarious way possible. Rape is no laughing matter, but when your old man is accused of rape and he's a former president who had alleged sexual relations with an intern, then you're really stuck between a rock and a hard place, whatever the hell that even means. Perhaps her head is like a bucket of rocks and the hard place is how we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. Let's go crazy. Watch the video and listen to Loomer drop the bomb question while the spawn of Hillary immediately shuts down and ignores the question about Bill Clinton's rape allegations involving Juanita Broderick. Laura Loomer, a rebel media commentator attended an event in New York City where Chelsea Clinton was signing books. Chelsea's book is called She Persisted and is about women who never take no for an answer. Laura Loomer says she purchased a book and asked Chelsea to sign it for my friend Juanita Broderick, a woman who was silenced, but persisted. Chelsea Clinton said about her new children's book, I wrote this book for everyone who's ever wanted to speak up but has been told to quiet down, for everyone who's ever been made to feel less than. Everyone except for Juanita Broderick, right, Chelsea? That was a hilarious burn. Look at Chelsea's face as the metaphoric daggers go through it, sharp as razors, right to the core of her rock-filled brain. That was a beautiful moment in rebel history and Loomer nailed it. Chelsea won't even make eye contact. Not even a stare down. Maybe those who avoid conflict don't want to admit defeat. She's acting like she's taking the higher road, but in reality, she just got owned big time and she can't even take it like a champ. She should have signed the book. That would have made this video boring and pointless. Chelsea Clinton could have signed the book and wrote Keep Truckin' and that would have been hilarious too. Who is Juanita Broderick? She's the woman in her 70s who claims she was raped by Bill Clinton when she was 35 years old, in 1978, and Billy was the Arkansas Attorney General. She made this claim in 1999, 21 years later, but no one knows if it's true or not. And quite frankly, I don't think anyone really cares. Why would someone get raped and wait 21 years to say anything? Bill Clinton didn't even have much power back then, so what was she so scared of? If she's telling the truth, then she was either paid off or scared as stiff as Billy with an intern to say anything. And there's the possibility that maybe she's full of crap because who waits all those years to say something? People have high doubts about anyone who waits 20 years to claim they were raped. If I was raped by Bill Clinton, or any member of government, then I'd be at the hospital and police station right after they pulled out, jumping for joy, getting ready to collect my check from the man. You better believe it, I would be cashing that settlement check faster than the Tasmanian devil can spin. You thought Usain Bolt ran fast? Have you ever cashed a million dollar settlement check? Well, if you have then you know you run to the bank faster than a locomotive or a speeding bullet. I hate to break the news to people who hate Clinton, but anyone who waits that long to accuse someone of rape was either silenced by someone deep undercover or a complete idiot and hard to believe. If you get raped and don't say anything for 20 years, then who's really going to believe it without some sort of substantial or physical evidence? Can she describe Bill's penis? Does he have a mole somewhere or anything like that? Juanita Broderick is either someone who was violently silenced or a liar. Did Bill Clinton hook up with her? Who knows and who cares? Whatever happened in 1999 should have been solved back then. What can authorities do, scrape some prehistoric DNA off the two of them and make a match? The lady, if she's telling the truth, doesn't have an ounce of evidence. She should have saved her clothes from the night of the alleged rape, or you know, do the smart thing and go to the police or hospital to get something on record. Was she threatened by the Clintons? Beats me. If she was threatened back then when they weren't as powerful, 
then why is she coming out with this news now? What was the point? Is it because she's old and doesn't care anymore? What if what she's saying is true? Then how does someone prove that a rape happened 20 plus years ago? It's probably next to impossible. I don't know what's true about her and Bill Clinton and I certainly don't care. Let them figure it out. Chelsea's book is dedicated to women who've been silenced or told no and have persisted. I know one lady who's been told no twice. Chelsea's mother. She's not the president. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.